Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nate or Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Bobcat Toolcat four wheel steering and how it works and how you can change it from two wheel to four wheel as well as how you can do a, a crab mode where you can drive diagonally with it. So to start with, you know, if you want an in-depth review of the Toolcat, I have that out there on my channel. Feel free to look at that. But for this one, we'll just talk about the four wheel steering system. Everything on this Toolcat is hydraulically driven, so pretty much the diesel engine runs a hydraulic pump, uh, very similar or exactly the same as most skid steers. And then what's different, obviously skid steers, um, they have drive motors for left side and right side, and that's how they steer, is they um, just um, spin one side faster than the other side, or opposite direction, and you do like a tank steer. For the Toolcat, it actually has steering, and the way they achieve that, is they have a hydraulic ram and it's a double acting ram that goes across the width of the machine then they have a tie rod that goes to the knuckle and you know this is a, a typical a-arm suspension um, similar to a, a, a car that would have the a-arm and then they'd have a, a steering tie rod like this but instead of having a um, rack and pinion or recirculating ball they have this hydraulic ram that pushes on the steering tie rod so that goes across car as you can see so here's the here's the other side and that is attached to that same ram and those rams have a uh, sensor on them so they know uh, where is straight ahead and I'll show you that on the inside of the cab just in a second here so on the back it's a similar suspension design as the a arm again and you have the same setup where you have the hydraulic ram. I think it's actually the exact same part on uh, on both sides. So, so now let me show you that guy in action. So if I crank it up, all right. Put my little safety lever down. So now I crank it up. Right now I'm in four wheel steer mode. So let me show you. And then So now inside what I'll show you is how you change it between those two modes. There's a switch right here and that switch indicates in this position is four wheel steer in this position is just two wheel steer. So let's say you wanted to drive around and just two wheel steer and perhaps that's because you don't want the back end to swing out. Uh, you do have to watch it because it'll hit stuff. So what I would do first is you want to get the rear axle centered. So to do that you look at these little green lights and I will steer it until uh, this way they're pointing. All right, until the green lights come on. So you can see that both the green lights are on, and that means that they're both straight ahead. And that that sensor can be learned, um, but you know typically it should be good from the factory like that. So once I have them straight ahead, I'll switch to two wheel steer, and now my rear axle will stay still, and I'll just turn the front. I'm just doing um, you know two-wheel steer obviously in two-wheel steer it doesn't turn as sharp and uh, let me show you that overhead here of uh, it turning in two-wheel just front steer Now that we've done that, let's go back to four wheel steer. And what you want to watch out for is that if you flip it onto four wheel steering and the front is now no longer um, in sync with the rear, you're going to be what I like to call cattywampus. So you'll, you'll be messed up and you won't be able to figure out how to drive straight. So what you want to do is again, go back and get your front steering straight. So I'm going to go back straight. 
Alright, so now I got both green lights on. So now I know that they're lined up together. So when I switch from two wheel to four wheel, they're going to turn in unison and they'll get back to straight um, and to end of travel together. So now we just go back to four wheel steer. So now they're both will move. So now, now I turn a lot sharper. So I'll show you an overhead view of that now. So now let's look at how do you drive diagonally with a tool cat and to do this on some like um, telehandlers they actually have a crab steer mode which instead of you know turning your back axle the opposite way of the front it turns it the same way as the front and that will allow you to drive diagonal the tool cat doesn't have a crab steer mode instead you have to set the rear axle at a set angle and then it stays there and then you switch to two wheel drive or sorry, two, two wheel steer, and then you're able to drive uh, sideways. To do the diagonal crab steer, in four wheel steer, you turn until your rear axle gets to the angle that you want it. So you can see in that uh, uh, mirror, I have it at an angle. And you obviously can adjust that angle if you want a little bit or a lot. And then once you do that, then you lock it into front steer only. And now your front's gonna steer, but your rear's gonna stay at an angle. So now you drive diagonally, um, you know, sideways down something, which is great if you want your implement to be further away uh, from the um, from the road or the surface that you're driving on, or if you are kind of getting stuck somewhere, you're up against trees. Especially with the four-wheel steering, you have to have like a radius around you. So the crab steer is great if you find yourself in a predicament, you're up against a wall, uh, perhaps parking in a garage. This would allow you to steer and then pull away from that obstacle without having to swing be either the front or the rear end at it. So that's a quick demo. Let me show you an overhead of doing a uh, how it drives diagonal. And then if you like this video and you want to see more, I have lots of other videos of the Toolcat and other stuff that I do around my property. 
So feel free to go to my channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and then you'll get notified of new videos.